Actual meaning of shell equals true in subprocess. I am calling different processes with the subprocess module. However, I have a question. In the following codes. And. Both work. After reading the docs, I came to know that shell equals true means executing the code through the shell. So that means in absence, the process is directly started. So what should I prefer for my case, I need to run a process and get its output. What benefit do I have from calling it from within the shell or outside of it? The benefit of not calling via the shell is that you are not invoking a mystery program. On PESIX, the environment variable shell controls which binary is invoked as the shell. On Windows, there is no born shell descendant, only command exe. So invoking the shell invokes a program of the user's choosing and is platform dependent. Generally speaking, avoid invocations via the shell. Invoking via the shell does allow you to expand environment variables and file globs according to the shell's usual mechanism. On PESIX systems, the shell expands file globs to a list of files. On Windows, a file glob, e.g., star. Asterisk, is not expanded by the shell, anyway, but environment variables on a command line are expanded by command exe. If you think you want environment variable expansions and file globs, research the ILS attacks of 1992-ish on network services which perform subprogram invocations via the shell. Examples include the various send mail backdoors involving ILS. In summary, use shell equals false. Setting the shell argument to a true value causes subprocess to spawn an intermediate shell process and tell it to run the command. In other words, using an intermediate shell means that variables, glob patterns, and other special shell features in the command string are processed before the command is run. Here, in the example, $home was processed before the echo command. Actually, this is the case of command with shell expansion while the command lsl considered as a simple command. Source, subprocess module. An example where things could go wrong with shell equals true is shown here. Check the doc here, subprocess.call. Executing programs through the shell means that all user input passed to the program is interpreted according to the syntax and semantic rules of the invoked shell. At best, this only causes inconvenience to the user because the user has to obey these rules. For instance, paths containing special shell characters like quotation marks or blanks must be escaped. At worst, it causes security leaks, because the user can execute arbitrary programs. Shell equals true is sometimes convenient to make use of specific shell features like word splitting or parameter expansion. However, if such a feature is required, make use of other modules are given to you, e.g. os.path.expandvers, for parameter expansion or schlex for word splitting. This means more work, but avoids other problems. In short, avoid shell equals true by all means. The other answers here adequately explain the security caveats which are also mentioned in the subprocess documentation. But in addition to that, the overhead of starting a shell to start the program you want to run is often unnecessary and definitely silly for situations where you don't actually use any of the shell's functionality. Moreover, the additional hidden complexity should scare you, especially if you are not very familiar with the shell or the services it provides. Where the interactions with the shell are non-trivial, you now require the reader and maintainer of the Python script, which may or may not be your future self, to understand both Python and shell script. Remember the Python motto, explicit is better than implicit, even when the Python code is going to be somewhat more complex than the equivalent, and often very terse, shell script, you might be better off removing the shell and replacing the functionality with native Python constructs. Minimizing the work done in an external process and keeping control within your own code as far as possible is often a good idea simply because it improves visibility and reduces the risks of wanted or unwanted side effects. Wildcard expansion, variable interpolation, and redirection are all simple to replace with native Python constructs. A complex shell pipeline where parts or all cannot be reasonably rewritten in Python would be the one situation where perhaps you could consider using the shell. You should still make sure you understand the performance and security implications. In the trivial case, to avoid shell equals true, simply replace.
with Notice how the first argument is a list of strings to pass to exec, and how quoting strings and backslash escaping shell meta characters is generally not necessary, or useful, or correct. Maybe see also when to wrap quotes around a shell variable. If you don't want to figure this out yourself, the schlex.split function can do this for you. It's part of the Python standard library, but of course, if your shell command string is static, you can just run it once, during development, and paste the result into your script. As an aside, you very often want to avoid popin if one of the simpler wrappers in the subprocess package does what you want. If you have a recent enough Python, you should probably use subprocess.run. With check equals true it will fail if the command you ran failed. With stout equals subprocess.pipe, it will capture the command's output. With text equals true, or somewhat obscurely, with the synonym universal underscore newlines equals true, it will decode output into a proper Unicode string, it's just bytes in the system encoding otherwise, on Python 3, dot. If not, for many tasks, you want check underscore output to obtain the output from a command, whilst checking that it succeeded, or check underscore call if there is no output to collect. I'll close with a quote from David Korn, it's easier to write a portable shell than a portable shell script, even subprocess.run, echo, dollar home, shell equals true, is not portable to Windows.